do is too bad. I own that driveway, and I own this driveway. Okay. When I see somebody coming, the, the band doing this down the driveway, it pisses me off. Okay. I maintain that driveway, and I maintain this driveway. If I see this band doing it again, okay. there's going to be hell to pay. Okay. I know you're bringing it to my house. Hey, sir, hey, look, I'll deliver it to your house, but you got to keep it professional, too, okay? Wow. It seems like a reasonable request from a hard-working man, no? I'll, I'll not, keep my I'll, things. As well. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll keep it all around. Listen, keep it. you're delivering people. the packages. Respect the slow side. Sure. Don't come in my driveway. Don't, don't, don't scream at me. Yet Goatee Ken here has other plans. Don't I'll scream at y'all. You want? Don't all scream at me. All gears, your truck, ripping. Don't scream at me. I'll do whatever I want. No, you you're won't. on my property, mother. You don't want to listen to me? You? Get the out of here. Do you want your package? I don't give a all right. And of course, the racism. He said, go back to effing Mexico, you effing B-word. And it was not the swear word, it's the bigoted slur directed towards our Mexican brothers and sisters. Hey, I'm still here, man. What are you going to do about it? I'm the, you know what? I'm leaving. I'm leaving, okay? Have a good day. This woman, who may be in the racist family, demands she have her package. He's sending me. I'm not going to stay. He's sending me. I'm not going to stay. You can call Fedex. No one deserves this. No employee who works in customer service deserves this. Yet this man believes they do deserve it no matter the circumstances. The lack of respectability, the intentional bigotry, zero decorum. It is troubling as much as it is saddening. The original uploader, Marco with two A's 29 on TikTok, has shown other videos of him working for FedEx, including when his truck got stuck. However, this is obviously a different animal. According to his TikTok, it took place in the state of Washington. The question becomes, what will happen? Well, we do have a track record here. But you didn't have to come out there cussing me like that, like I'm some child. I ain't no little boy. I'm no little boy. I'll wait till the police come. You can record all you want, bro. Yeah, I got you. Right there. I got that's you, where girl. his power at, right there. That's your power. That's his power. That's where your power at, right there. Where you going? Man, I ain't finna waste my time with you. You got my information. You got my information. They'll find me. They'll find me. You need to get your glasses back on. When a FedEx driver stood up for himself to a racist customer, he told News One he was let go by the company. So we stopped the truck, and that's when I started recording the incident. After the video, the police came, and we told our side of the story. And the man said to police, they look like they would have broke into my house while my wife is there. The white dude was lying the whole time. Antonio says, mind y'all, we go through this all the time. He was the first to actually come at us crazy and all while we were doing our job. We worked six days out of the week to deliver these packages during this coronavirus. I really appreciate the job opportunity I had with FedEx. No hard feelings, but I pray I can get back on my feet because I have a daughter now. Why? Why so much hate? Why so much hate? Brandon Brackens also had an incident while on the job with FedEx. According to CBS News, FedEx said we are both saddened and outraged by what our team member experienced and describes in this video. FedEx said in a statement, This type of behavior has no place in society, and our first concern is for our team member. We are staying connected with him and offering our support.